Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to do some logging on the Forester. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. We are going to get into the ECU and do some logging. I've been struggling to connect to log from this and get into ECU flash, but struggling to get into ROM Raider. All right, so with the computer, or with ROM Raider, it asks for a, a COM port. You gotta select a COM port, and it's not coming up on my laptop. There's a COM port, so I looked on ROM Raider, and they said that the Tetrix Access Port 2.0. Um, you don't need that, but you need to most likely update the drivers and just keep moving around to different USB ports and it should come up. So let's give that a go. Also, um, Carl from Boosted and Built Garage suggested putting a switch on the the um, green terminals down there. So um, I don't have to keep going down there and connecting and disconnecting when I want to flash. Um, they are getting worn out. So he said, just put a, put a switch in there, something you can reach, maybe even in here. And you can just switch it when you need to flash the uh, ECU. So, might do that little mod sometime soon. But for now, let's get into Ron Raider, hopefully. Also, guys, I'm going to check the um, check the battery, see how the voltage is in that, and most likely put it on charge. Yeah, we're down. So, I'm going to put it on the charger. Alright, we're going up. It's good. So I have the car hooked up to the charger. Got my laptop on the charger. Let's um have a little play around and see if I can connect to ROM Raider. Alrighty guys, so I've just been through all the USB ports, so one, two and three. It shows up down here in device managers that that trick is there and it moves to all three. So what I'm going to do now is just um, update the drivers. All right, so it's saying that I've already got the best best ones. So I'm going to check ECU flash. So I can update that. That might give me a better um, driver. Actually, I'm not connected to the internet. I'm too far away from my Wi-Fi, so. Um, I'm going to keep the Tactrix connected and I'll head inside and I'll see if I can update the drivers inside. Tomorrow. Oh my god. So, I reverted back to an older version of ROM Raider. So April 25, 2020 instead of August 16. And it connected straight away. So, I'm into the ECU. That is sweet. Yeah, boy. So last night, um, was it Thursday night? I spent hours on the computer. Just could not hook up um, to ROM Raider. Just tried everything. I thought, well, it's only five days old. Actual, the new um, version of it. So I thought, I'll see if there's any older ones. And I went back to April and 
did that probably two hours ago and I just got in the car and I hooked up straight away I was like <laughs> it was that easy so if it doesn't connect to your car just try one of the older versions hooked up straight away I've got my dashboard up and I've pretty much got everything that I need at the moment and um, I will be logging all of those as well so that's on the dashboard over on the data got that as well so um, I'm going to start the car up and I'll move on to the view of the actual screen I have put the cursor onto it now so you'll be able to see the cursor yeah I'm just going to sit here and idle for a while right I've got to start it up put the pump on start it up and I'll start logging so I'll start recording first I'll start recording the screen and I'll start it up all right so we've got the dashboard up here you can hear drilling that's my son in the background he's outside drilling some wood he's having some fun so I finally hooked up to the ECU through ROM Raider so I'm going to put the fuel pump on, not the fuel pump, the scavenger pump, so you'll probably see the voltage drop, which I can't see here, I don't think, put over here, no. yeah, going to start logging I'll just go for five minutes or so coming out the exhaust, maybe this from the turbo, I don't know. So gotta see if this one here changes because that's long term. If you're learning, so once that starts to change, this one here should change. That's short term. Closed loop fueling target 14.14 and we're at 16. So we get our mass airflow came out right because I changed the size of it. We 
going to attempt. Mikey at the back. So the screen recording just stops. Uh, we're at 81, we've been up to 82, so it's hanging around 80, which is good. So check engine light on. To check the fault codes, but um, yeah, looks like we're up to temp. And by this one here, we are too. We'll make it loud. Sound like from the outside. Good. Good. So I got a bit of moisture or condensation in the exhaust still. a couple of minutes and then I stop the log and okay, I so coolant temp 82 water temp on the gauge 70 I think we're a little bit out so we've got oil pressure I don't know if we've got oil pressure through the ECU let's have a look I think it's been like 10 minutes so I'm going to stop the file log so that should have saved to documents room reader and I put an extension on there idle sorry <laughs> so I'll, um, I'll get a program up later and we'll upload that file into it. Alrighty guys, so uh, just looking at the low man exhaust, I think I may have damaged it when I didn't put the put the scavenger pump on. There is a bit of oil seepage down there now, or more than normal. <laughs> um, so I'm going to dive into that soon. Um, I'm just going to go through these logs. I'm not going to go for a drive today. I'll keep that for next episode now that we've finally got onto it. Um, it took me like three or four days to figure out what was going on. So I've got to hook up ROM Raider to the 0102 Foz. If you like this episode, guys, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and turn the post notification bells on. And I'll catch you next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.